What's up guys? Today I'm going to do a uh, kind of a quick review on the uh, Spot Hog Wise Guy. Um, first I want to compliment it because of the adjustments here. You can bring the front end back. I like to run mine back where I can kind of get a little bit of a bend on the trigger. Uh, the triggers are very smooth when they go off and very touchy so you will want to adjust the tension on these and it's right there behind the trigger I just got this one today and I forgot um, I forgot my allen wrenches but like a Scott release I do tend to uh, punch those or find myself just kind of reaching around and this one has a very smooth uh, trigger when it goes off so it's real smooth like it when it when it's ready to go it's ready to go so another thing I recommend is to not get the velcro model stick with the buckle and for whatever reason I mean I have little tiny arms and most people complain that the straps, uh, the original buckle straps that come with these, are a little bit too small for their wrist. So, what I recommend doing, and what a lot of people do, is they'll they'll switch over to the uh, the Scott uh, strap. But uh, this one's okay. Um, as far as I know, this one does have the Scott strap on it. But they're real handy they fold back like that and they don't dangle or anything like that so if you're wanting to climb up in a tree or pull some arrows they're real nice and, and as far as that goes so let me see if I can take a shot here and kind of show you how touchy the trigger is on these I wouldn't it's touchy but it's smooth at the same time if that makes any sense so I like the way it draws I didn't have to change my anchor point my D loop for my peep whatsoever so I just I'll probably add a little bit of tension but as you could probably tell in some of the uh, like Cameron Haynes videos uh, it don't take much to set this thing off uh, but you can feel it uh, You can feel it kind of go through so And that was uh, a 10 So I'll do one more arrow the release is made very solid more solid than any Scott I've had. Uh, it is the uh, the hook style, so you'll have to get used to that. I'm already used to that from shooting, you know, say like the True Ball Fang or something like that. So you hear that? That's the sound of a QAD HDX that needs felt. <laughs> So I'm just laying my finger on it and maybe it wants to go off <laughs> so it may be better to set the tension a little tight on these um, you don't want to set it too tight but you want to set it tight enough to where you can get a little bit of tension off your back um, overall performer what is this uh, re release probably better than a, a Carter RX-1 I don't think so. Um, I like the Carters a lot better. Um, I like the hook design in the trigger of the Carter a little better than I do these. Uh, these feel like they're made more solid than the Carters, but at least with the Carters, you have several spring adjustments. Um, you can wrap your finger around the trigger and, and use tension to set it off. 
this is a, just a smooth punch and trigger style release but it's nice I mean I can see how you can make 180 yard shots with it uh, really simple <laughs> you just have to learn it and it does have the ability to, to want to you can adjust it left or right or uh, for a southpaw shooter you can adjust it that way too so uh, that's kind of my uh, points and tips and just my overall think of the the spot hog wise guy it's a, it's a nice release um, if you're shooting a scott or something like that and you want something you like that style of release i would recommend probably upgrading to the wise guy because it's smoother and it's just overall it's made better in my opinion it's it's hefty you know what i mean so i have several scott releases uh, right now i have a lot with the ncs and they're nice releases um but the trigger on them are kind of meh you know what i mean so uh, as far as trigger if you want that sweet smooth touch that trigger um, without it affecting your shot placement this is a good release to have so all right guys i'm gonna wrap it up i'm jared in kentucky uh if you want to see more uh, bow tuning tips or bow shooting tips or anything like that just let me know all right guys have a good day